Hello my crafty friends welcome to our channel I am Anu designer with just my craft and today I'm back with another craft tutorial but before we move forward please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from us as requested by you all I am back with another video on textures and backgrounds for transfer me so let's begin if you haven't watched my previous video yet make sure you watch that first for the steps on basic preparations Link is given in the description below. For the first one here, I am taking a circle cut out from scrap paper that fits in the frame leaving a quarter inch gap from all sides. Taking some green paint and applying it on the center using sponge. Let this dry then take the circle cut out, place it in the center and apply cream shade paint around it This technique is called masking. Taking out the design from Vintage Styles No. 5 Transfer Me, fussy cut the edges as it's a little big for the size. Now peel the transparent film on top, stick it straight on the base, spray water on it, dab with the sponge, remove excess water using a tissue and then just peel off the backing. Leave it to dry then apply two coats of acrylic varnish on top to seal it. For the next one, I am covering it first with paint, leave it to dry. Then take a small piece of bubble wrap and some mustard shade of paint. Take some on the wrap and make a print as shown. This is so much fun. Now take some sponge and distress the edges. Take out this image from vintage style number 6 transfer me.
Repeat the same steps of applying transforming sheets. I decided to add more distress on the edges so I took some brown paint and stencil brush and simply swiped it on the edges. Finally, varnish it to seal. For the next one, I am applying a thin layer of white glue over the base. Then take plain white tissue and stick it on the base as shown. Add wrinkles to get the texture on the base. Let it dry. Then use sandpaper to tear off the tissue that's hanging out. Apply some more glue over it to stiffen the tissue. Paint it with your choice of color. Here I am using a very light pink. Then take white shade of paint on your finger and rub it softly over the surface. It will highlight all the wrinkled edges. It looks awesome, right? Now taking out the design from vintage style number 7 transfer me, fussy cut it and repeat the steps. Distressing the edges with black color and lastly varnish it to seal.
for the last one here i have the sole stencil from dress my craft i am taking out this design from winter styles number no. 1 transfer me and fussy cutting it placing it down to see where i want to use the stencil here i have some modeling paste and applying it through the stencil look at this beautiful design on the edge Now let this dry and do the same on the opposite edge as well. Once it's done apply your choice of paint on the base I am using patina here To make it more vintage I am adding some brown here and there Now just add the transfer me in the center and seal it and it's done. So this was all from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, do give it a thumbs up. Leave some love in the comments and share this video with your friends. Also, all the supplies I've used in this video are linked in the description box below. You can check there. So now I'll take a leave and I'll be back again with another craft tutorial. Until then, see you and happy crafting.